Parents, I'll let you know at this time if any of your children get these jokes, it's entirely their fault. Pay close attention. Ladies and gentlemen, the sword of the middle of the because you drop straight down that one, you know, these hands are going to pull the chair up and down without this being a turning. Got it? Sure. Vote of confidence. Hannah, I'll do it a lot slower. You must be from West Virginia. Pay attention. <laughs> Danny, I'll do it a bit slower for you. Obviously, you're from West Virginia. <laughs> Danny, what's going to happen is I'm going to take a sword, put it between my lips, and then snap my fingers. It's going to drop straight down. At that point, when you get to my knees, you're going to pull straight up and out without twisting or turning. Cool. I do want to remind the audience that the sword will only be moved, removed by Danny or qualified medical personnel. <laughs> Wrong fight. The last time I did it, I got stuck to the stage. You could only imagine. <laughs> Don't imagine, Danny. At least if you have to imagine, try not to visualize. Here we go. For real. Straight up in there. You look a little bit nervous. Tell you what, I got an idea. Hold on. This usually calms the nerves of many of my volunteers. <sighs> That's right, I'm blindfolded. <laughs> oh, and the audience members out there. What I need to tell you. Hold on. Oh, my God. What I need to tell you. Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, if I should knock the rose from Genesis' hand, you all need to give me a wonderful round of applause so that I know to stop whipping. However, if I accidentally start to hit Genesis instead, you all need to give me a wonderful round of applause so that I know to stop whipping. Unless you like that, then no applause at all. She's ready. Here we go. I got three. One. Two. Take a life.